At Walmart, uh, this was just a small run, honestly, for drinks. Uh, Kevin bought four of the A&W Zero Sugar Root Beers. Um, we bought some Quilted Northern Toilet Paper. I bought three of the Clear Americans. Honestly, I probably would have bought like 10. These were the last three they had, so we bought all three. Um, I bought some uh, prune juice and we bought a watermelon now this is a seedless watermelon i would have rather had the one with seeds just because in the past it se has seemed sweeter but this one might be very very sweet so uh, they had actually gotten out like three new bins full of these seedless watermelons and it was only like 4.97 or something it wasn't a bad price at all at Kroger, um, someone had uh, requested that Kevin try the El Monterey Steak and Cheese Taquitos on his Lunchtime Review channel. So he is going to be trying those, but he's also going to be trying the Extra Crunchy Southwest Chicken Taquitos. And then these are the Taco Seasoned Beef and Cheese. They also have some like chicken and cheese, and, and I believe he's tried those on his channel. Uh, we got some Sister Sh Schubert's Dinner Yeast Rolls. Uh, we bought the, uh, this used to be called Pears Gourmet, now it's Pear Snacks, the Maple Cinnamon Apple Walnuts, the Hatch Chili Peanuts, and the Hatch Chili Cheese Peanuts. Uh, we bought some Orida Shredded Hash Brown Potatoes, some Cream of Chicken, some Colby Cheese, it's Mix Me, M-I-X-M-I, -M -I. Mix Me Probiotics Frozen Yogurt. So this is the Totally Vanilla, and then this one is the Orange Dream. They also had uh, Frozen Farmer Santa's Cookies Ice Cream, so we'll be trying that. Uh, we bought some sour cream, uh, some penne pasta. Um, this, um, we had just bought a seedless watermelon from Walmart. It's probably the worst one we bought. It was, we have never, Kevin said, I've never cut up a watermelon and it looked like that. It was white, like thick on the inside, really, really, really white. And there just wasn't a lot to it. So anyway, this one is seedless as well from Kroger, but we're hoping it'll be better. Um, we're just hoping for the best. It's a different brand, so we're hoping it'll be better. But I don't know what the deal is, but they, you can only get seeded. Um, I mean, uh, seedless. You can only get seedless. Uh, they don't have any that have the seeds. So, uh, in our area right now. Um, we found the limited time Lay's Kettle Cooked Ruffles. All the other ones you see that are out now, we've reviewed. The Funyuns aren't new. There's Funyuns and there's Dorito, Cool Ranch Doritos and there's another one. We've reviewed all those. This is the new one. Um, I bought a salad kit. This is a Taylor Farms Caesar chopped kit. Uh, we bought an onion, some vegetable oil, and some milk. Uh, we also bought some chicken. Uh, we bought some uh, some uh, legs and some thighs. At uh, Speedway, I bought the Little Debbie pecan pie and the pumpkin pie. I'm also looking for the Little Debbie uh, little uh, pumpkin donuts. If I find them, in, uh, if I find them, you'll know because they'll be in this haul. If not, I'll keep an eye out for them. Uh, at Walmart, we bought eight of the Clear American strawberries. Last time they didn't have any, go in again and they have a ton. So I bought eight and then we bought some water. At Kroger, we bought the new Tropical 7-Up in the, uh, just the original and the uh, zero sugar. And then Kevin's gonna review these two meals on his lunchtime review channel. This is a uh, Life Cuisine Protein Lovers Chicken Parmesan Stuffed Melt. And this is a steak and white cheddar stuffed melt. And then we bought two more watermelons. Can you turn one of those over so we can see the label? Okay, so we bought one at Walmart. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Oh, it was really bad. Like the, the white rind had gotten three fourths into the watermelon. Yeah. So that, they're, they're, the only thing available in our area right now is seedless. As far as Walmart and Kroger, those are really the only stores we have to choose from. So the one at Walmart was awful. We bought one at Kroger. I think it's, it's all in this haul, I think. And it was really good, even though it was seedless. So we went back and bought two more while they have them in stock. And uh, these are from, it says Sun State Produce Sales. Product of... 
Oh, I can't read that. Something. No, it's over here. Um, it's something farms. Okay, here we go. Uh, Halter Farms in Indiana. So, we really like these, but the funny thing is, they had very few of these left. They already had switched out all the watermelons and had a different sticker really from yellow. another, yeah, from another farm. So, I'm glad we went when we did so that we could get two more that we like. At Whole Foods, we bought these humble potato chips. They said they're new at Whole Foods. Uh, this is the original creamy dill sea salt and cider vinegar and smoky barbecue um at the fresh market uh, these are new popcorn snacks these are twists cinnamon sugar twists and then we've tried the puffs like the little cheese puff type things but we haven't tried the crunchies these look like cheetos or something so we're going to be trying those uh we also bought uh, this is a no-baked cookie dough chocolate chip. I have not heard of this brand. Um, the Nightingale Blueberry Lemon Pound Cake. We have never tried. Can't wait to try that. These look like Bucky's Beavers, Beaver Nuggets, if you've ever had those. I'm sure they were much more expensive, though. Uh, these are uh, Cinnamon Roll Puffs, Golden Caramel Puffs, and Sea Salt Caramel Puffs. At Aldi, we bought the, uh, these are drizzled kettle corns. We have maple and pumpkin spice. Uh, Chakur, they had new cookies and cream. And they have peanuts and cornflakes. And honey salted almonds. They also had the Moser Roth. This is a peach cobbler, a waffle cone, and an apple pie. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I post pictures of all these. Um... We have actually reviewed like three other flavors of these uh, Cheetos Mac and Cheese on this channel, on the Tammy Dunn YouTube channel. Kevin is going to review these two on his Lunchtime Review channel uh, because he hasn't reviewed any of them, but these these two, he neither one of us have tried actually. This is the Four Cheesy and this is the Cheesy Bacon. So, Lunchtime Review. Um, at Meyer, I also got a four pack of Puffs Plus Lotion. I bought some Belgian Boys. These are bite-sized pancakes. And these are a maple pancake cereal. This is a limited edition. The Purple Cow Ice Cream, we've never had this one. This one is called a Sprinkle Swirl. And it has a lot going on, and we just haven't tried that. And then this one is Cinnamon French Toast. It is actually a limited edition. And then it, um, soup. oh, soup. I bought some bean and bacon soup. That's for me. I love bean and bacon soup. I've been craving it. So I thought, I figure if I get myself a can and allow myself to have it, I can have it and enjoy it. And then I won't want it anymore, right? Um, at Walmart, I bought some coffee creamer and some sweetener for coffee. I bought some crackers to go in that bean and bacon soup. Um, I bought four of the Clear American strawberry drinks, which I love. Uh, the Halloween stuff, the Halloween candy's out. So, Kevin and I love the Reese's White the best. So, we bought three packages of the White Pumpkins, and we bought one package of the Ghosts. Um, I also bought some, just some vanilla haagen ice cream because we want to try the Smucker's peanut butter flavored topping. I posted this picture a long time ago, but it was submitted to me from Asthma. She sent it to me from Ohio, but I had never actually seen this here. So I finally found it here, peanut butter flavored topping, and people were like, wonder how that's gonna be different than regular peanut butter, because peanut butter's creamy, you know? So we'll, we'll taste it and we'll see if it tastes different. I also wanna try these Jordan Skinny Sauces. This is a salted caramel, and then this one is a dark chocolate espresso, and it's, it's zero calories, and it says you can use it on lattes, ice cream, baking, and milkshakes. So we bought the haagen to try it, uh, try with <laughs> zero syrup with the full flavor, full calorie haagen -Dazs. Um, and then we're going to review these. Um, these are Dunkin' Cold. This is powdered coffee. So we have just the regular coffee, and then we have caramel. And you add these. They're like a, a flavor pack, except it's it's a coffee flavor pack. And I thought that would be really cool. Uh, we found the Sour Patch Kids Apple Harvest. And it has a cranberry apple, apple cider and a caramel apple. And then we also found the caramel apple crisp and bourbon cups from Niagara Chocolates. 
They do have another flavor at Walmart, but we've already reviewed that flavor. That's why we only bought this one. And then lastly, from the Cheesecake Factory. Last time we went to the Cheesecake Factory, I bought eight, eight slices of cheesecakes because I knew we were going to review them for uh, four, to four reviews. Four reviews with two flavors each. And somebody asked me, um, I think it was Brynn, she said, um, did you get them all at one time um, or did you go multiple times? Because she wanted to know like how good these, how long they stay good. So I looked it up uh, before we went last time. They said cheesecake uh, slices will stay good in the refrigerator for five days. So this is basically three days for us. One day, two days, three days, you know? So that's how I figured it up is we'll do three reviews out of these. Uh, but we buy them, um, and we just make sure we eat two a day until they're all gone. Um, and that way they stay good for five days. But in no particular order here, I'm just going to tell you what all we got. I know what the back one is. The back one is a s'mores. Um, and then we have a, one of those is, this one I know is red velvet. But then we have a, a Cinnabon cinnamon swirl. We have a salted caramel. We have a Dulce de Leche's, che uh, Dulce de Leche's Cheesecake, a Caramel Pecan Turtle, um, and yeah, I've told you all of them, Red Velvet and uh, S'mores. We went back to Walmart. <laughs> I bought some of the Kind Healthy Grains Peanut Butter Clusters. I still have some of these from a family size bag from like a week or so ago up in the cabinet, but I don't have a lot and I have more yogurt. So I want to make sure I have plenty for my yogurt. Um, I saw these Skittles Littles, which is a really cute name at Walmart. So I bought these and a box of the original uh, so we can compare them. And I also bought the Sour Patch kids lemonade fest and the swedish fish blue raspberry lemonade um, i bought some colgate total a two-pack and some gain dryer sheets uh, then kevin bought a keurig water filter cartridge for our coffee maker and some descaling solution and then we bought four of the uh, zero sugar a and w root beers